Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kansas Collective for your weekly dose of wacky. As always, my name is JJ and I'm here with my sister Elle. And on today's video, we return to Kansas Cooking for our second episode of our recreating of our wacky family dishes. This particular episode will be about a wonderful Thanksgiving fare we like to call oyster dressing. For more on oyster dressing, here's my sister. So oyster dressing is fortunately something we only have to deal with once a year. Because if we had to deal with it more, I would just pack up and move away. It is truly one of the most horrific dishes in our family. Maybe one of the most horrific dishes I have ever heard of. It's essentially a dressing or stuffing that is made with canned oysters. Yes, you heard me right, canned oysters. And if that isn't slimy enough, we add some saltine crackers to offset. Mmm, crackers and oysters. Known combination in dressing. And remember, you have to say dressing. If dressing. it's not in the bird, it's dressing. If it's in the bird, it's stuffing. If it isn't in the bird, trust me, you get yelled at if you use the wrong nomenclature. But it's not dressing, it's dressing. 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 No dressing. G's here. No. no G's. Okay, so for this lovely recipe, which you can make for your own family this Thanksgiving, which they will just love, it'll send if you back in want real quick. Into Thanksgiving, real quick. Real Bring out your oyster dressing. So what we'll need for this recipe is two cans of canned oyster. Um, yeah, delicious. To start Start off with a bang. And then one bag of pre-packaged stuffing mix or dressing mix. And because why make things homemade? For why? You could make it homemade. Just substitute. Saute the vegetables. Tastes the same. But you know, we're just, we're not about that here. And so unique spin. You can use, we used chicken dressing mix, but you can use whatever your Pork, heart desires. Pork, turkey, this, veggie. This point The is world is your oyster. Pretty much, exactly. And then you're going to need about 10 saltine crackers. Um, I mean, if they're stale, it works. The I mean, stale is better. Yep, it, it works. And then half a stick of butter for your... Not butter. margarine. No. Butter. butter. We don't use margarine. Full fat butter. And then you're going to need some water and, of course, a casserole dish as well as a non-stick cooking spray. Okay, so first things first is you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. After you, well, right on time, as on cue, uh, after you have done that, you want to fill your container you can use a plastic bowl whatever works for you i just have a tupperware container here you're going to fill it with hot water about a cup and a half according to your pre-packaged stuffing's directions Then you're going to mix your prepackaged stuffing with the half a stick of butter and the warm water according to the directions. Your directions may vary. However, you make your prepackaged stuffing, go ahead and form that. And then my prepackaged stuffing's directions recommend that I heat it for five to six minutes covered. So heat it in the microwave, do it the easy way, and then bring it back to jazz it up with the oysters. So while your prepackaged stuffing or your stuffing mix, homemade stuffing, however you want to go, is heating, you want to chop up your canned oysters. And let me tell you, it is a real fun, noxious, just horrid time. But you know, gotta and, do and, it for the stuffing. And chop to your own desire. Some people like larger pieces of oyster. Some people enjoy it finely minced. Mm -hmm. The world is your oyster. Like we said, it really is. And there are no pearls involved here because this is 
truly just a real humdinger of a dish. So chop those up. Now that all the requisite parts of this dish have been prepared to finally assemble this uh, travesty, here's my sister. Okay, so we have our cooked stuffing, which actually doesn't smell too bad, but we're about to ruin it with these um, atrocious oysters. Like, quite literally, you can see they're still a little chunky because I started gagging and I thought I was going to throw up and lose it when I was cutting these. So just do your best. I mean, you know, some people like them chunky, so whatever. So first, to assemble our... And to preface this, we don't um, accept any legal liability for uh, any uh, happenstances that might occur after the consumption and creation of this dish. Proceed at your own risk. So, to assemble the grand production, you're going to... Oh, God. You're going... Oh, okay. You're fine. Just go. Put them all... It's easy, said. Yeah. Just stand there. Just put all your delicious oysters in... Your stuffing and try not to breathe. You know, do their best though. Okay. Now that that stir, just give it a light little toss there. Oh gosh. Hold it in. Oh no. no let's make it stop. <laughs> what have I done to deserve such a fate? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're slimy. Oh, Some gosh. people might like this. Some people do like this. We already have well, family yeah. members. We're excited because we're cooking this up. Just so excited. Mm, yeah. Mm. You may be wondering who will eat this, like what, don't you worry, no, none of this will be wasted because, oh yeah. There's always one person that will like this, always one. One time at Thanksgiving. Uh, we have this cousin who at the time was younger than eight, I would like to say, five or six maybe, I, I don't know the exact age. The, he, he has a slightly picky ear, but he is the least um, willing to try things for his own benefit. Uh, and they decided that he would want to try oyster dressing. As soon as the food went into his mouth, he proceeded to spit it back out violently. All over the Thanksgiving giving table. table. So if you want to engage in biological warfare, feel free to give your uh, relatives oyster dressing. Okay, so now that I have the stuffing and the oysters mixed together, oh, God, we're gonna those are put the this wrong color. delicious casserole into your dish, just kind of smash it evenly. Then you're gonna take your remaining five or so oyster, or five or so saltine salty crackers. crackers, just stuff on these oysters, man. They're just pungent. You're gonna sprinkle your saltines. That's all not a good don't, color. Don't waste it. They tell you your plate should be a rainbow. <laughs> that your plate should be a rainbow. Uh, this is dead gray. If taupe was a dull. food, but it doesn't taste. This doesn't even look like. Taupe. Does not taste dull. Let me this tell you. This is gray. You, you will not forget this in your house. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a delicious smell in your house for days to come. Welcoming the smell of the holidays, burn away shirts and stuff. This is what our holidays smell like, and I would not recommend making this if you want to sell your house and you're up. In the near future. Interested uh, occupants want to come by. Yeah, no, no. Okay, so now that we have our delicious casserole assembled, assembled, you're going to put this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes and just smell the delicious. Let it waft through the just, air. Oh, yeah. You won't want to throw up 30 times. Welcome back everyone. So we have our finished product, our delicious, not so much, oyster dressing that is just, oh yeah, smelling those fumes. Just, oh, smells like a rotten sea bay on a hot summer's day. Not but so oddly enough, very reminiscent of the holidays. Yeah, this is the smell you have. And Makes in a strange, burning. twisted, disturbed way. Oh yeah, this is always there. Okay, so we're going to plate up our delicious creation, delicious, and it should be a combination of like 
gummy and slimy. Well, as also well slightly as, burnt. But also dry and crusty. It's, it's it, You wouldn't think it's possible, but it's it is. You're lagging things, you add flavor. Remember oh, yeah. That. Like, oh, it's jiggling too. It's not burnt, it's flavored. Like the seafood jello you never thought you'd make. Okay, mm -hmm. so there it is, folks. Oh, gosh, the spoon does this. I'll thing. save the spoon. Enjoy. Scare all your relatives for life. Mmm, smelly. Well, as always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and have a great week. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.